Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg here today, bringing guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary. What you guys should be watching in the background is a 49-2 tactical nuke and team deathmatch, 10 versus 10. Uh, and I figured I'd bring you guys a little bit of 10v10 team deathmatch gameplay today, just so I can talk about what's going on in my mind when I'm playing a 10 versus 10 gameplay. So, when I'm playing Ramaza, I always like to go down the right side, right away to the bridge, because, in my opinion, this is a really good side to contest. Generally, you can pick off a few people, and a lot of people like to go to that third story of construction right here, um, and they'll be peeking up there with maybe a rocket launcher or just like an assault rifle, sniper rifle, whatever, and they'll try to take you off as you pick or as you peek from the rug shop. So you have to be careful of that whenever you come over here. But if you can pick them off, you generally get a nice flank into the enemy spawn right away, which you can start doing some damage. As you guys can see, I pick off two kills from or two kids from behind right here, which gave me two free and easy kills. Also in this gameplay, I was running kill chain. I was just trying to get some kill streaks, just casually playing, having some fun. Uh, and I was using the cruise missile, the VTOL jet, and the support helo, which are really good synergistic kill streaks. What I mean by this is, whenever you call in your cruise missile, it can help you earn a VTOL. The VTOL can help you earn a support helo. Now I'm coming back over here because I anticipated a spawn flip, in which I was right. And the reason I ante I anticipated that spawn flip is because the majority of our teammates were up, pushed like all of the way up uh, to the C flag area and generally that's going to induce a spawn flip if your team is not over at the a flag area which is right here at the barber shop which is the building i'm looking at and as you guys can see people are coming out this is a very strong power position i'm sitting in right here on ramaza because people have to challenge you they have to come out of that room and you can see them coming out of that room before they can even you know see or even have shots at you and stuff like that so they have to basically peek you twice and it's a huge advantage but anyways as i'm calling in this cruise missile this is where things can get a little hairy because as you can see they're pushing at least they did not check this little cubby i'm sitting in which is very good uh because i would have been killed and i'm gonna go ahead back and i think i get this guy maybe not no he, he gets a flank through construction i couldn't get him i think my claymore takes him out though which was honestly just a free kill i don't know how he died to that claymore considering he should have been um going around and you know the claymore was not facing him so he actually had to run from behind it and go right through it which is kind of sad but um make sure you're looking out for claimers i know they can be hard to see sometimes i even die to them with spotter which is pretty sad so you know who am i to judge them but anyways constructions where they're spawning and i actually get a really nice um basically flank through here because of dead silence and having tracker is also an added advantage because it really helps you uh, control all the chaos of whenever you know people are spawning all over the place right here at least they were not camping with Betty's and claymores up here because i was able to get them off of this top three story which, again, top three stories somewhere where you're going to see a lot of people at. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out underneath. And basically now what I'm doing is um, I'm anticipating another spawn flip. But it turns out they actually, I don't think they did spawn flip. So, again, um, sometimes I anticipate these spawn flips wrong. I'm not perfect. I'm human. But, um, again, I'm going to run back to the construction site because the construction site is a spawn point. Um, the under here there's also a little back alley which is behind that area i was just looking at and they also do spawn there as well which i got two people off spawn support helo is putting in absolute work for me um normally this doesn't happen all that often but ramaza seems to be a map where the support helo does a lot of work uh there's a few maps in the game where the support helo can really shine and i really wish they give it a buff because i think it's really deserving of one uh for an 11 kill string is kind of underwhelming it only averages me like 2.92 kills or something and i have over 580 of these things called in so yeah I, th I think it really does need a buff but uh it's 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 a good kill streak whenever things go right but most of the time it's not the way it works out anyways um i'm going over here to ruins because ruins is another way this another area that they'll spawn in and ruins is also pretty easy to control right here I'm taking out this recon drone because i know i'm on a nuke streak and i really want to make sure i'm gonna stay alive so i know i'm on 26 right now i'm just kind of listening for sound because i got my dead silence active um i kind of knew this lobby was a chill lobby so i'm gonna sit here and i'm just gonna head glitch this real quick and you guys will see whenever i push in I'm not really taking cover whenever I switch my weapons right here and uh, just kind of aim that. And the reason why is just because I knew this was a really chill lobby and I wasn't really going to die and I can control the chaos that was going on in 10 versus 10. I ended up picking up the nuke right there and uh, I just, once I get my nuke, I just ran in for a kill. Didn't even notice this guy that was just sitting there to the left and uh, got taken out by him. But anyways, like I said, overall the score was 49 to 2. Uh, Ramaza is a difficult map to play if you are not in the power positions because it's really hard to take people out of power positions. 
but if you get those power positions and you make the right decisions off the beginning of the game and start getting a good flank off or whatever, um, you can really do some damage on Ramaza and it's really hard for enemies to come back because this map, the power positions, whenever people are spawning down at the barber shop or ruins, it's just, they're crazy good. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great day. Peace.